Hi everyone. Well, uh, I did not did a, a video for the first time when I tried to use a carbon activated cube to clear the water and reduce the foaming of the tank because the smallest tank I could do, okay, excuse me, the smallest cube that I could uh, find was 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 5 centimeters. So I tried that and uh, first of all I did a mistake of as soon as I got the carbon activated cube I dunk it into the 48 uh, ounces or 1420 millimeters tank and it barely fit uh, hopefully it's crumbly so uh, I was able to put it in but uh, it in a few hours without a doubt the most dark color started to go away and started clearing but then the next day there was started to develop like a white haze so after three days i saw that the colony looked to be fine the core cleared and there was this white haze uh, so i decided to remove the cube and then the white haze became milky white uh, so uh, I don't recall, it had been maybe a week and it's still the, uh, the water have cleared and definitely uh, most of the mustard color is gone, but uh, it still have this pronounced uh, white uh, uh, haze in, in the water. So I don't know if it will go away. Then I read that you are supposed to run uh, the cube Actually, I got a piece of it here. See, it's got a little tunnels. And you are supposed to run the cube through fresh water uh, before using it. I did not do that. So that was a mistake. I already, uh, this is the same cube. Actually, a piece of the original cube. I found that with a knife, you can shorten it in in size i still think this might be a little big but in scale is a, a as big it was a, for uh the 38 ounces uh aqua aquarium so uh, besides clearing the water i found that the a foaming in the 48 ounces aquarium got reduced to nothing. I have been putting the air stone a maximum airflow and uh, almost no foaming is uh, being accumulated. So I'm hoping to get that uh, effect also here besides uh, making the water, remove this color and make it more uh, clearer. Uh, warning, this is a hunk of, of a block and it has a lot of air initially inside it. So if I push that with the tank full, uh, it will spill. Uh, so, hopefully, oops. And warning, it's very crumbly. So, and it's fine if pieces uh, fall to the, the bottom. Uh, I have left pieces of, of the original cube in there since it does not look to affect the tank. Okay, so I think I removed enough water to this other tank that I was letting evaporate. So we'll see if we can insert. Oh yes, you see that there is a... Uh, this tank have a decoration in the center. Take that in account when you got the piece. I'm not sure if I took the measurement correctly, so we will see. Uh, of course, uh, we need to put it uh, this side as far as possible from the decoration. And let the bubbles go out. 
show and slowly so I don't squat. Come on, come on, slowly, 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 slowly. And pieces are falling down, that's fine. Okay. So it looks like uh, I might have removed a, a little too much. That's fine. I will move uh, some of the water back. Uh, but you want the the water to flow through the cube. So what I will do, I will take this. Put it at this side. So the idea is that at least with the movement of the bubbles, uh, oh, looks like I did took in consideration the that good the uh, the little volcano in the middle. So as you can see, water is moving in that direction. So that is you want you want the water. Uh, although you cannot see it, at least you need some movement of the water going through the little holes on the cube. So uh, later I will add more water uh, from the from the tank, so it's covered completely. Uh, but as you saw, I had to put it in angles so the bubbles would get out. Then I could, could put the cube. So we will see in a couple of days. Okay, so let me go back to the original tank and other things that I want to mention. focus in a moment okay so this is the original tank if you have seen my other videos you might remember that the water was this uh, mustard color uh, but uh, I think it had been at least a week so you can see that the mustard color uh, eh, Come on, stay put. Okay, the mustard color uh, have mostly gone away, although we have this little haze in the water. I have cleared significantly uh, uh, since I removed the cube. And, uh, but uh, the sea monkeys look to be doing fine. Uh, And uh, right now I have a strong flow and barely any foam is building up. So let me see if I can get uh, better. Um, so you can see a little better contrast. Okay. Uh, Okay, so you can see there are juveniles, there are adults, and uh, they all look to be fine. So I'm very pleased with the results. Uh, so here's uh, where I shove in the uh, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 5 centimeters cube. That is the smallest one that I was able to get. And uh, that is when I found that uh, it's crumbly. So you need to be careful when you try to pull it out because initially I started pulling it out and I could feel it uh, crumbling under my fingers. So, uh, and yes, pieces of, of it still inside uh, uh, that tank because it crumbled and actually it split in two pieces when I tried to take it out after three days. But I'm, I'm pleased about it. 
And um, since today is exactly 24 weeks, I decided to also mention a little update on this guys. Come on, stay. Eh. Come on. There you go. Uh, so what I have been doing, I have been removing since, uh, for the longest time, they did not have babies. They were simply the uh, first generation sea monkeys since I started uh, this, uh, this tank. And actually, this is the tank that I follow and documented, made videos up to eight weeks uh, on how to, to make a sea monkeys and maintain a sea monkeys uh, tank. So what I have been doing to be sure uh, that I have a good uh, hold on how old these sea monkeys are. Uh, recently I was able uh, to, and I made videos uh, also about this. Uh, recently I was able to improve their environment so they can have babies again because they didn't have babies for like month a few months and what they have been doing is moving the juveniles to this other tank so i try to keep here only uh, the original first generation sea monkeys so that way i can be sure that all these soy monkeys at this point have at least uh, about uh, 24 weeks. So I'm very uh, uh, satisfied with the result of this tank and looks like uh, I have found the, I have been able to stabilize the environment. So they are living to their fullest. And yes, some have died I don't know if for some sickness or for a uh, old age, but I never had a uh, so large or so elderly sea monkeys before. So I'm very pleased to uh, wish them a very happy uh, given the, whatever their definition of happy is, 24 weeks. Okay, so I will keep it in, uh, an eye on, hey. <clears throat> but I need to add uh, more water back. But uh, just remember if you cut and use a piece of the carbon activated uh, uh, first take measurement and second start inserting it in a 45 angle and shake it a little so the the air gets out of the uh, cube so uh, otherwise it will spill out uh, like it happened in my first attempt of making this video Okay, so we will see how it goes and see you guys in the next video.